Hi friends, Miss Hazel here. And Miss Kate. All right, um, it's October, but you could do this any time of year. And it's a black cat. And I'm gonna show you how to make one of these. So first you're gonna have to get your pieces all out, thread your needle. It's gonna be a needle that has a big eye. I've started it speaking of eye. So the first step you wanna do is um, sew the, um, pu it's not the pupil, it's the iris, sorry. It's, it's dark out, so the cat's eyes are scrunched up. So sew the iris onto the eye. And then after you sew that on, I just did a few stitches. I'm gonna lay it onto the cat. I already did the second eye, the first eye. And I'm gonna tilt it a little bit because my cat is sort of out and his eyes are tilted. And then I'm going to, so it's on the back of here. I'm gonna line it up and I'm gonna go through to the other side. And then I'm gonna sew on the eye using, whoopsie, got caught, little stitches around the white part of the eye. I'm using black thread because I like the way it looks. Kind of gives him another element of a spooky cat. Okay, so you're going back and forth, doing the best you can to be neat with your stitches, keeping it. There you go. I like October because it's Halloween. Halloween's fun, get to dress up and all the Halloween stuff like pumpkins and cats are good too. Okay, now I've done my, I've done my eye, sewed it up. Now my whiskers are kind of these funny um, um, beading cord that I tied together. You could use yarn, there it is. And I'm gonna place it on the nose. My yarn is already in the back from when I did my eyes. So I'm gonna go on the back and I'm gonna guess where I think my nose should go, right in between the eyes, and I poke it through from the back. Now I've got my whiskers. I'm gonna lay those underneath there in the middle, and I'm gonna make a stitch onto the back. Just like that. His nose is stuck on. It's his nose and whiskers. Then I'm gonna go in the back again and see right where it came through. I'm gonna do this about maybe three times. You can get your needle into the, the, the cord to attach it. There we go. That's two, I said three times, right? Go back up, because you'll see, once you're on the back, you'll kind of see where you're working. So you can go back through. So I'm gonna do three times. And then on the back side, I'm gonna make three stitches in the same place to lock my stitches in. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, Miss Kate, I'm a forgetty head and I forgot my scissors. Do you see any over there by you? Yes, I'm right here. Okay, thanks. Those You're hands welcome. that are coming are Miss Kate's. Okay, I'm going to trim that off. Now I have the front of my cat ready to go. Now I have this crazy long tail and I'm going to imagine here's the back of my cat and I'm going to lay the tail where I would think the cat would, the end of his tail would go. I'm going to make a knot on my thread. I'm gonna start from the back and come in. The, the yarn is fluffy and make at least three stitches. One, two, to hold that tail on. Because if you're gonna play with your um, cat, you wanna make sure your tail doesn't fall off. So I did three stitches. You could do more if you feel more comfortable, at least three. And then remember how we lock the stitches in? We do three stitches, one, two, three, to lock it in place. And I cut the thread. Next thing I'm gonna do is, now I have my cat is facing the, the middle together, the outside, so the tail is out in the back, and the cat goes on to the front. You line that up. Then you're gonna put some more thread. It's my thread. Not too much. If you make it really long, then it's very hard to sew. So maybe just about as long as one of your arms. That'll be just about the right size. Thread that needle again. Oops, there we go. Oh my goodness. Does that happen to you sometimes when you're sewing? 
Sometimes you need a partner to help you, partner project to help you thread. Okay, make a knot at the end. Now, when I'm sewing my two cats together, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start up by the eye, right up here by the eye, and I'm gonna make stitch it all the way around and I'm gonna end up down here by the neck. So I'll show you a few stitches. There we go. There's a couple of different ways you can sew. I'm going to just sew in up and down. You can go across the edges if you want. Make sure you're connecting both sides of your cap, front to back. And do my stitching. Okay, now I'm going to leave for a minute and keep sewing. And I'll be right back after I sew it all up, okay? Okay, I'm back. Okay, I've sewed all around. I started up by the eyes and I carefully stitched around the whole edge of my black cat. Now I have my fluff. I'm going to break it off in little bits and go right in through the side of my cat's head. Ah, sorry cat. Using my finger, I'm going to make sure I get some down in my cat's feet. I'll do both of my feet first. And then I'm going to do some into my cat's body and using my finger to get into my cat's arms. There we go. Oh, look at my funny little cat is coming to life. Now I'm up in the head area and I'm using my fingers and I'm getting it up into my cat's ears. I guess you could have flat ears. That could be, that would be up to you. You can make your cat as fat or as not fat as you like. Oh, I'm going to make a fat cat. Well, if it's too fat, then it's really hard to sew together. So there we go. Now I've stuffed my cat. I'm going to go back in with my fingers and make sure everybody's got fluff in it. Okay, there he is. Little fat cat. And now I'm going to use my fingers and squeeze it together. Make sure I don't sew my whiskers. I'm going to Use my stitches. There we go. I'm almost done. I'm going back and forth. Get my fluff inside. Back and, and forth. Like you yes. Really small stitches too, so the fluff doesn't come out. Yes, it's important that your stitches are close enough together that your fluff doesn't come out. And you don't have to do it all in one sitting. If you're feeling like it's hard on your hands, you could do half of your cat and then take a break and come back. It could take you a couple days to make your cat. My first cat took me a couple days, but today, because I want to show you how to do it, I'm super excited. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, look, my cat's side of his head is... Okay, now, if we remember, three stitches into the same area to lock my stitches in. There's one, two, Three, I'm going to trim my extra yarn off. I'm going to make sure my cat is nice and fluffy. And then my cats can be friends. Okay, there you have it. If you like this video, you could subscribe to our YouTube channel, Alameda Arts. You could take a picture of your cats that you sew and post it to Alameda Arts Fun on Instagram, or you could check us out um, at alamedaarts.com. Thanks for joining us today. Bye, friends. Bye.